This story comes to us from cbsnews.com. This is one that a lot of people are talking about. Um, and it's out of LAPD. And this is the one that, that the, the big story. I, I'm sorry I got to it late, but there's been so much going on. But the attorney representing Los Angeles police officer Houston Tipping's mother <coughs> claims that the 32-year-old was targeted by other officers for being a potential whistleblower. This is the LAPD officer that died during a training incident. Even though a coroner's report ruled Tipping's death an accident, attorney Brad Gage says he was targeted because he was a whistleblower in an assault case involving other officers. Gage claims that the alleged assault happened 10 months before Tipping's death. Gage said, LAPD claims in Public Records Act requests there was no incident report at all. No incident report and Tipping, I guess, was going to tip it, whatever you call it. You ready to go? Yes, sir. You got it. You this got is it. video of the late LAPD officer Houston tipping during a training session with a stun gun. The 32-year-old died in May during a different training exercise. Brad Gage, who represents Tipping's mother, has been raising questions as to why cameras weren't recording that fateful day. LAPD claims that there was no video taken of the training this day. We don't believe that's accurate. Gage points out how much our world plays out on camera, like this edited video of Tipping riding his department bike with fellow officers. According to the Los Angeles County Coroner, Tipping died of a spinal cord injury after a grappling exercise. Additionally, the autopsy found that broken ribs that appear to be a Lucas device, which is an automatic CPR machine. Um, So I guess they were doing CPR on him and it broke his ribs, but well, that's what CPR does. But Gage, the lawyer, says the problem with that is other medical reports show the Lucas device was never used. So in reports, they don't report the Lucas device being used, but his ribs were broken. They said, well, that was from the Lucas device, which reports say was never used. This is the LAPD we're talking about. According to a coroner's report, Tipping died of a spinal cord injury after a grappling exercise. Additionally, the autopsy found a broken ribs that appears to be from CPR with a Lucas device, which provides chest compressions. The problem with that is that other medical reports show the Lucas device was never used. We also asked Gage if he's been able to speak to any of the paramedics about what type of treatment was given to Tipping. Have not done any depositions yet, but we do have statements that we've obtained from various sources. He said, uh, oh, Gage has raised other questions as to why a camera wasn't recording the day Tipping died. This was a training exercise, right? Don't they record all their, all their stuff? Yeah, not this one. LAPD claims there was no video taken this day. Gage says we don't believe that's accurate. So bottom line, they believe this, this Officer Tipping was going to be a whistleblower on this alleged assault, assault allegations of these other officers, and he got targeted in this training exercise. Spinal cord injury, broken ribs. Well, it was from the, the, the Lucas device. Well, there's no Lucas device in the report. Oh, forgot to put that in there, did we? Even though a coroner's report ruled that Tipping's death was an accident, Gage says Tipping was targeted by other officers because he was a whistleblower in an assault case involving LAPD. We asked Gage to show us documentation of what he alleges took place about 10 months before Tipping's death. LAPD claims in Public Records Act requests that there was no incident report at all. You forget to put a lot of stuff in there, LAPD. You do. You know, Michael Moore always telling us this stuff. How many times has Michael Moore said on the news? Well, I did see on the news where he said, uh, this is kind of a sidebar, but it goes along what we're talking about. Michael Moore said on the news, look, we are willing to work with people that want to record our officers. You have every right to record the police. You have every right to record us in the course of our duties. And we were going to go along with that. We're going to cooperate with you. And how many videos have we seen of the LAPD pushing these camera people back unlawfully. They're not in the crime scene. They're not uh, uh, 
obstructing nor delaying. But yet the LAPD comes over and goes, I, 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 you guys got to back up with your cameras. Well, I thought the chief said that uh, they were going to cooperate with them. I don't know. Seems like the LAPD has a problem keeping their story straight. 